Hi guys, Sylvia here, Tandy Art. Welcoming New Year. This is my first video this year um, about art journaling and um, first video <laughs> really to talk to you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's busy time. Uh, the, the year didn't start well for me as I caught the COVID as well, but I'm over it now and it wasn't too bad. Luckily, thank God, I wasn't too sick. Um, and the kids were actually didn't get it, but all adults in my house did. So I was just on my uh, sofa bed, uh, still designing the collections of digitals for you guys. And some of you probably know that I already have three new collections this year. And then an amazing collection with AB Studio of actually the, uh, the scrapbooking papers. And they will be coming to me, I hope, next week. So I'll make a separate unboxing video and show you all the products. Uh, I have on my own three digital collection. One is the Stardust, then Dear Girl. And the last one was the latest, which I just put it there yesterday for a kind of Valentine's Day, is the Tiny Love. So I wanted to show you today the collection Tiny Love Papers. I want to tell you how to print them, what to do with them, maybe a little bit talk through and do maybe some art journaling, which I haven't done for, I have to say, very, very long time. So my resolution for this year is to do more art for myself as well, because I was focusing so much on designing stuff, products for the shop that I have to bring back myself to uh, being an artist and just to enjoy the process um, but I will keep up with the shop because I know um, you like it thank you for all your comments and beautiful reviews you have on my Etsy shop so I and I have fantastic girls um, who are designing for me as well with my uh, digis so you can check them out I will put the links to their account under the video so this is the collection, it's Tiny Love. So I designed it, as you can see, it's kind of like a watercolor paper. So they have this watercolor feel to it, some of the figures. So this is the first page you will be printing. So I'm printing them on my printer. I have a quite good printer, um, Epson uh, Echo Tank, but they actually, it's, not much about the printer because any decent printer now is quite have quite good quality of photos i found it's the most important is the paper so my prints what i like to use the most for all my prints is matte photo paper okay whoops sorry i was just checking the video if it's i can see if it's still recording well okay so uh, I am um, printing my um, images on matte photo photography paper. Uh, I found it the most um, crisp paper. I could put your link on the paper I'm using for Amazon UK. Uh, but I tried good few brands and they work well. Um, I do, it's fine that if I print on the regular paper, it's bit. It's not that the, the colors are not that intense, and I love that. To know my colors are usually very stand out like here and look at this quality of print is actually really really good and it's not it's the, one of the cheapest papers i'm using now if you use if you want to use uh, this as a background paper which really blends in with in your journal then you can print them on the regular thinner paper because i usually print on 180 to 30 so uh grams paper so thicker photography matte paper and you can see even that texture of watercolor paper will show through this is the another page which i actually love you can there's so much you can do with those hearts when you cut them out so we did this one then there is this one with my watercolor paper girl and you can see the paper on their faces i love that watercolor feel to it and here is a little background so you can actually I'll show you how to make a very simple card and add 3d elements to it some elements here to cut out i love you you're my everything special love cute magical which you can use this one is another which i created out of my art dolls i made recently uh, and i always scan my art and take a photo of it um, then i kind of add maybe a few touches and i add a few elements in 
in procreate just to add i added wings and stuff to them and the hearts just to make them more valentine's feel but the quality again of that print of the paper is actually really vibrant colors and the last one page i think we all like to have a bit of background which you can use in your journals or you can just add elements on top of it and create the valentine cards some little frames for planners and journals as well so this all come you can buy some of the pages separately or you can buy them as a bundle so i will go ahead and cut out a few elements and start uh, using uh, start art journaling i have here stratmore journal and i added just a bit of texture with texture paste and some gesso just so i'll be using some watercolors so i will have a nice effect i'll be back in just one second Okay, so I'm back. I cut out a good few elements from uh, those pages, but I still want to add a bit of texture to the background. So I'm using some pieces of tissue paper. This is my rice paper from AV Studio with my design. So I might use some of these. I just glued this with the Mod Podge. I love adding the tissue paper because it just gives that um, nice um, bit of texture, but it really blends in with the page. That was some little splash of the paint here, and that's fine. My mop watch is almost dry now. Oh my gosh, I didn't use it for a long time. <laughs> Sylvia. Very bad. I really need to start creating more. See my little daughter in the background. Um, she really wants to come in here, but <laughs> Daddy is trying to entertain her there in the background. Okay. So I don't want to put too harsh colors there. Um, and not too much I will be adding some gesso as well just to and then just have this um, just to smooth it down a bit okay I want to keep it quite a uh, neutral background because the elements are really bright. They're actually much brighter than they are in the video. My lighting is not great, so they look like they are darker, but they're not. Um, so here is uh, some pieces of that paper. And I blend it in there. Don't be afraid. The beauty of... Um, the beauty of printables is that you can once you purchase them you can print them a few times so you can always have them there I'm sorry for the background noise uh, my husband who's supposed to be very quiet is I think hovering typical of men isn't it <laughs> I'll be recording can you just keep quiet a bit <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> Typical, typical. So I'm adding now a bit of gesso to kind of, again, to um, just blur the edges and tone it down still. Um, I probably will use like light teal in the background. So this one, thanks husband. <laughs> This one will be just, um, I just I want that whoops, milky look. Gosh, man. <laughs> I hope you can hear me anyway. So that's fine. I will make noise now because I need to dry it with my trusty dryer. Just a bit.
will add a tiny bit of titanium buff and I just check if I have a which paint do I need? Mm, I use it uh, it's the gouache gouache paint so it's um it is uh, opaque just to keep it a bit warm Okay. A tiny bit here. Now what I want to do is add um, a bit of watercolors and nice, now soft, nice soft brush and some of that uh, turquoise. Some of the turquoise. So. Two. And then I will also add lots of swirls and soft details, but first I just want to blend it in. You know me, I love those little touches. Okay. Now I need to use some. I want to do a bit of splashing with pink and yellow. Just to give that nice look and yellow and use the um, the spray candies okay I try it and come back to you again okay so i'm back i think i'm okay with the background it's much lighter than on camera i added more white and that spread it when i tried drying it and giving the touches with um with the brush so i think i'm okay with the background Um i have this chipboards here from ab studio which i might use um I might, I might not. Um, I was thinking to add some of the fabric also. Um, just found the scraps of paper and I really, the love fabric, and I really like them. Um, so she could be kind of standing on that. I think it'd be really nice. Um, here I might just. Just do this. That would be pretty cool, I think. So I'll start gluing that. I hope my glue is enough. So I love those chipboards they from AB Studio, which I designed for them, and they are actually really cool for like whimsical projects like that. Okay. And I think Mod Podge will hold that fabric too, because it's not too thick. I might actually run a few stitches on my sewing machine. I think that will add nice black little stitch, will be really cool. So I don't have to worry about that too much, the gluing. Um, 
so I stitched them that would be really cool okay and my little fairy will be standing right here Okay, she's looking nice. And on this side, I was planning to do those hearts going from big to small, um, all the way from corner to corner, um, going from her um, to here, and a bit of confetti as well. It. I think little rainbow too as well. Be nice. Maybe. Mm, maybe different color of the heart inside. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that looks. Okay, or should I not add this and add something else instead? I have also this butterfly here. I just feel it's too much. I just need a tiny, tiny touch. I'll find something when I'm gluing the hearts. Okay, so... Um, I need something under that circle, definitely. I might add a few stitches on this side too. And some stamps also. Let's don't forget about trusty stamps. Love this heart. It's my favorite part, I think, of the collection is the hearts. Yeah, that's nice. I might not need this one for now. Um, okay. Du -du -du. Or should we go with just something smaller there? Could be again a little fabric. Um, yeah, maybe that. I like that. I like that. Yep. And I will run it again. Sewing machine on this side. So I love adding fabric these days. Gosh, when I'm looking at my camera, it looks really much darker. So when you see the photos, I'll take much, much brighter. The light in winter, even though I have three lamps here, and they just probably gel medium would be much better option quicker to glue those hearts okay okay so now what i do is i probably add some stamps not too much i have this uh, ab studio stamp which i like too Um, into corner and else I can find some 
gonna be rid of the stars here then. Once I, um, once I glue it, that I just, uh, I might do a bit of drawing with the color pencils. cool i said i will add some confetti also so i have this confetti which i always usually add to the orders <laughs> the little dots they're very hard actually to put them down <laughs> they're not easy <laughs> to deal with they're everywhere flying around the studio usually it's a big stack of them uh here just feel it's all about adding different um textures they actually stick very quickly to hands <laughs> but it's all about happy happy confetti um maybe blue will stick and maybe yellow yeah Maybe pink. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm okay. I'll just add... Oh, this one didn't have any glue. I'll add this few stitches here and there. And you can see them in the last photos. And that's how you can use my collages. I'm hoping to do that every week or two. Show you how to, you can use the DGs. Don't be scared of them. The reason I decided to work with DGs is because of the cost of shipping, unfortunately, is going up and up and up, which drives me really crazy because I don't like that. So, see you soon. Hope you will like it. I will put all the links below the video. Bye bye.